At Ego, we do a lot with a little, so we're very careful about how we spend money. We have a very carefully put together business plan, and that plan includes spending the money on uh, some staff. Uh, it includes spending money on setting up the, the tooling, and we're also putting money into some marketing effort to be able to sell these aircraft now that we're able to manufacture them. Ego rolling. The initial aim was, uh, was not actually to start off a company, it was, uh, it was to design an aeroplane. The idea was actually to, to design a Canon aeroplane, trying to exploit its potentials. And the main one for me being actually extremely good visibility. There's been a lot of interest outside of the aviation press, people like The Telegraph, The Times. Because the aircraft looks sexy and cute, and different. That's the, 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 what's generated the interest. We have made a lot of progress in lots of different areas. We've spent uh, quite a lot of the uh, money that was invested in the company in some really important uh, tooling. In the last year we've done a lot of test flying and now we're into production of those parts. Taxi 2, Bravo 2. This area has a great network of composite uh, skills. So Ford Composites is a good example. They have a lot of experience in exactly what it is we want them to do. So although there are lower cost regions for this kind of part manufacture, the fact they are 20 minutes down the road just makes the whole engagement much more straightforward. We're starting to take orders for uh, next year as well. The main market is not going to be the UK, I believe. The main market is going to be the United States and the rest of the world but we're actually building the aircraft to those American standards. We're off to Oshkosh in, uh, in a few weeks' time to uh, talk to potential dealers and distributors about selling the aircraft, because the market in the United States is probably 10, 15, 20 times bigger than the, opportun the, the opportunities we have in the, in the UK. We then will have the opportunity to take the aircraft to other countries around the world who follow the Federal Aviation um, Certification process. So it will it'll really open the market up to us. Uh, we have sold quite a few aircraft and we hope to deliver those. So I think once we have achieved those goals, then other people who've shown interest in the company from different regions uh, I think would have more to, to base their judgment or estimate of the company's value. It could be um, another large aerospace organisation that wants to branch into uh, a smaller product or a composite product. Uh, it could be for, uh, an organisation from another, another country. There's obviously a lot of Chinese investment going on into aerospace. For the next year we must finish all of our design activity to get production finally complete and get into what we're calling serial production, so churning the handle and producing aircraft. We have plans for a larger Ego, for an electric Ego. We do have a lot of interest in Ego being used as what we call an optionally piloted vehicle. That's particularly of interest in the area of surveillance uh, or disaster relief where you want to be able to get an aircraft up very quickly that doesn't really cost you very much. I actually built the prototype, it's been flying for a year and a half now. Uh, small tweaks here and there that just brought it sort of to a, a standard where we're now confident that it can, it can be a, a product that's very safe and it's um, incredibly good, to, nice to fly. You go for a drive, you go for a ride of your bike, you go for a flight in, the, in, the, in this machine. <laughs>